Because on the carnivore diet, the hardest part, 99.9% of the battle is psychological. The eating part is simple. Eat meat, drink water. The hard part is resisting our cravings, our social pressures, all the distractions we face. And how you do that, how you navigate that successfully depends on self-knowledge. Hello, friends. It's the carnivore rabbi. A rabbi is a teacher and source of inspiration. That's what this channel provides for carnivores of all faiths. Welcome. Carnivore is about so much more than diet. We know this. It is about mental health, clarity, peace of mind. And I found an incredible tool to help us, each of us, see the way the carnivore diet transforms us. It's an incredible tool. I've known about it for quite a long time, and in fact, I've used it in counseling people and understanding myself. It's called the Enneagram. Some of you may have heard of it. It's simple, and you can try it today with the tool I'm going to share with you. But first, let me tell you exactly what it reveals and how you can use it. So the Enneagram, it's an ancient tool probably about 3,000 years old, drawing from different faith and spiritual traditions to uncover human motivation. There are nine different types, Enya, and no types are good or bad. And in fact, every person has elements of all nine types, but we all have a dominant one. Now, 10 years ago, when I first took the Enneagram test and my dominant Enneagram number was three. A three is a performer, an attention seeker, a leader. A three is someone who is driven to succeed in a conventional way, to achieve status, to achieve the conventional American notion of success. And at that time, and even still today, all of that was true of me. And it can be very good. But threes are generally concerned primarily with conventional status and achievement. And it can feel, I don't know why this word stands out to me, but it can feel carby. It can feel like eating lots of carbs to get that conventional source of energy, but not the deeper source of meaning. And threes generally are focused on serving themselves first and foremost. Now, very successful threes can also serve others, but their primary motive is for themselves. I started the keto diet in 2018 and then the carnivore way of eating in 2021. And as I've talked about so many times, I felt truly magnificent changes, as many of you have. And I feel I've become a better father, husband, rabbi, teacher as a carnivore. I also, I meditate and pray regularly, of course, and I've noticed deeper feelings of awareness and peace in each of these spiritual practices. But sometimes I ask myself, is it just the placebo effect? Am I just saying this because carnivore makes me feel better and it's like a a permanent high and maybe I'm saying it made me a better person, but it really didn't? Or really, is my behavior, motivation, thinking, personality really changing? And I realized that the Enneagram is the perfect way to test it. I had already taken the test several years ago. And now I could take it again. I wish I had thought of this earlier. And I did think of it because I was listening to my friend Ian Cron's podcast, which is on the Enneagram called Typology. And he was talking about threes. And I realized as he was talking about it that it didn't really resonate with me. So I thought to myself, perhaps I've changed over the last 10 years, especially over the last three years as a carnivore. So I decided to retest it. And I retested it twice. And both times I got a new result. I'm a seven. And that makes total sense. A seven is more of an enthusiast than a performer. A seven is interested in authenticity, connection, more than status. A seven is passionate, authentic, real, deeper. A three can be a little bit superficial and hard to know. A seven lets their colors out. I also, when I took this, 
had a noticeable increase in my nine wing. Nine is the last number on the Enneagram. And nines generally tend to be peaceful. They're willing to compromise. They seek balance. A nine has the carnivore zen. In fact, marriage counselors, and I've done this myself, marriage counselors who use the Enneagram to counsel couples often say that sevens and nines are a very good match. They're balanced. So in a sense, I think I'm bringing myself into balance as a human being by cultivating my seven and my nine qualities. They both increased. Now, of course, I still have a strong three element. I'm still driven. But seven dominates, and nine is a significant presence. And truthfully, this is much more the person I hope to be, and I feel that I am deep down, authentic, grounded, positive, peaceful. That's the kind of person I want to be. And it seems that I've become more of that, at least in my inner motivation and behavior over the last several years. Now then, is this all a result of the carnivore diet? Probably not. Some of it is just aging, right? We do get, we do mature. We get wiser, hopefully, as we get older. Some of it is being a parent, dealing with kids and dealing with difficult circumstances in life, the kinds of difficulties many people face. Some of it is just growing spiritually through prayer and study. But I am certain that a good deal of this positive change rests in nutrition. What we eat shapes our mind, our body, our social connections. What we eat literally is the fuel for life. And as I have fueled myself with the proper human diet, I've become more of the person I yearn to be. In fact, the Enneagram has a deep connection to diet. There's a whole book. I read it as I prepared for this video. A whole book written about it. And I think many carnivores would be eights on the Enneagram. Eights are very close to seven, obviously. The main difference is that eights tend to have very strong convictions and are aggressive in pursuing their interests. Now, aggressive is not a bad word in this context. It doesn't mean violent. It's more like focus, discipline. They go straight for what matters. An eight will do whatever they need to do regardless of social pressure. And as carnivores, we all have to do that. We're going against the grain of 99.9% .9 of the population, of health authorities, doctors, nutritionists. So we do have to have strong convictions. One way the Enneagram can be helpful to new carnivores and long-standing carnivores is understanding where and why we might fall off the wagon. It happens. Certain types, Enneagram number one, for example, are perfectionists. Ones feel a need to get everything right. Everything has to be lined up perfectly. And that can be dangerous for carnivores, unless we live totally alone and don't have any social interaction. But most of us have to adapt occasionally to social events, to dinners, to spouses and children. And there, the truth is, there's no perfect way to do this and stay consistent on the carnivore diet. We have to adapt sometimes, and ones have a difficult time doing that. And there's no perfect way to do carnivore. Some people can tolerate spices, some can't. In fact, I have an interesting story about that, some incredible biltong, that South African beef jerky I got with some spices on it, and I loved it. Another number, another Enneagram, number five, has the danger of getting tied up in analysis paralysis. A five wants to know exactly how everything works. Fives are often good investigative journalists. But I've seen people who want to change their diet, want to become a carnivore, but they want to know everything about the carnivore diet before they start. And sometimes the only way to know how something is going to work is to actually try it. It's true with carnivore. You learn so much once you start doing. Same with many things in life. Fives can hesitate to act until they know everything. And especially in a field like nutrition, it is impossible to know everything. Exploring the Enneagram 
can be so helpful to carnivores because a key to success is self knowledge. It is self knowledge. You need to know your strengths and weaknesses so you can figure out strategies for sticking to this way of eating. Because on the carnivore diet, the hardest part, 99.9% .9 of the battle is psychological. The eating part is simple. Eat meat, drink water. The hard part is resisting our cravings, our social pressures, all the distractions we face. And how you do that, how you navigate that successfully depends on self-knowledge. You need to know how to manage yourself to avoid getting in difficult situations and knowing your Enneagram type can help you immensely. I once heard a great quote. A clever man knows how to get out of a difficult situation. A wise man knows how to avoid getting in that situation in the first place. So aim for wisdom. Take the Enneagram test. I have a link below. Learn about it. And I'm including a link to two of my favorite books on it. And if you've already done it, retake it. See if the carnivore diet has made any difference. If you'd like, describe your experience and results in the comments below. And remember, self-knowledge makes all the difference. If you want to know more about self-knowledge, see this video I recorded with Mitch, old guy carnivore, where we really get into a deep conversation about self-knowledge on the carnivore diet.